So as most of you know, and maybe you don't, <laughs> but I just booked a TV commercial and the TV commercial is for Google Pixel. And uh, apparently I'm playing the role of a businesswoman commuting to work or from work. I'm not really sure the details yet. And apparently I stop and play basketball, which is really cool. Um, so today is the first day that I am um, involved. Uh, I have a fitting. And so um, the stylist and I had a conversation yesterday and she's requesting to see some things that I have in my closet. So I'm gonna go and have a fitting, try on a bunch of stuff that she pulled for me for my commercial outfit. Um, and then I will take you guys along for the ride behind the scenes as much as I can. And this probably won't get posted obviously until after the commercial airs. So I will be sure to add the commercial at the end of this YouTube video, but I'm really excited. You know, it was just really funny because I doubted myself so much. Every time I get an audition, I'm like, they're not gonna wanna book me, I'm too big, I'm not tall enough. All of these things sort of go through my head. Um, but yeah, I still continue to do the auditions. Um, and it's been a while since I did my last commercial, so this is just, it's good inspiration for everybody to never give up on your dreams because um, I could have just not done any of these auditions because I haven't been booked in a while for a commercial. And, um, but I did them anyways. And so it's just to say that like, you work hard, you continue to follow your dreams and good things happen. And without further ado, I'm going to take you guys along with me during this commercial as much as possible. So I hope you guys enjoy and Let's go. I am really excited to introduce you guys to a brand that I'm going to be working with for the next few months called Nudita. They are an intimates brand that focus on sustainability, which is something that I love. I'm going to do a quick try on with some of the pieces and show you some of the other pieces that they sent. Their stuff is amazing and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the brand. Nudita prioritizes sustainability by using eco-friendly materials and bio-based fabrics, which are independent of oil consumption, low in carbon emissions, and environmentally friendly. Nudita is dedicated on delivering sustainable lingerie that prioritize comfort and style, but also minimize our impact on our planet. And for that, I super appreciate working with them. First up, I wanted to show you guys this amazing bodysuit. It is a full brief bottom, although I don't think that it's completely wedgie proof on this behind, but all the other qualities that this has is just amazing. The fabric is buttery soft. It has some supportive cups. It does have adjustable straps in the back with a hook and eye closure here. I'll throw up a photo of what it looks like on the model versus what it looks like on a curvy size 8 slash 10. Next up is this navy blue sort of slip dress that I like to wear hanging out around the house. I wear these all the time, chilling on the couch, cooking dinner, or sometimes going to bed. And I love them because they're just easy to throw on. They're super stretchy. The fabric of this one is really, really, really soft. There are adjustable straps in the back and I can't get over the comfort of this and the stretchiness. It just is so easy to wear around the house and look cute at the same time. Next up is this black bodysuit that I can see myself wearing with a pair of denim jeans. However, you guys know that I usually like a higher cut on my hip. So if you're looking for something that has a lot of compression and full coverage bottom, this is definitely perfect for you guys. The fabric is incredibly soft. It is wrinkle free. There are adjustable straps as well. And I just love the way that it fits my bust. And you could even wear this with trousers and then throw a blazer on the top of it. I absolutely love how versatile this piece could be. I wanted to show you the other two pieces that they sent. This bodysuit is super cute. I also can really appreciate the fact that they put gold hardware on this. I mean, this is meant for me. <laughs> Super, super, super pretty, very delicate. It feels like it's super well made. Oh, what the heck, I can show you what the garter belt looks like over this bodysuit. This is so pretty. <gasps> this bra, garter belt, and G-string undie 
that I just cannot get over. How pretty is this stuff, you guys? Mesh bra with really intricate lace details throughout. It also does have this little non-slip grip that they put on the insides of the cups. You can barely see it, but it will help the bra stay in place. And they also have the non-slip grip in the front and also in the back. And last but not least, this garter belt is just so cute. Sits right in the middle of my waist and it has the same details as the bra and the panty because they do match. And it also has this non-slip grip that goes right around. It will be super comfortable wearing it against your skin. So pretty. Also, Nadita is giving all of my followers up to 50% off with the code Morgan. Happy shopping. Friday morning and I am off for my fitting for my commercial. I'm booked to shoot for three days, Saturday, Wednesday, and Thursday. It's not confirmed yet. I could change. Today is day one of shooting and I'm just quickly getting my set bag ready and I wanted to show you guys what I bring to set. Um, so first of all, I always just bring my makeup in the event that like I need to do something to change what the makeup artists do. Um, not change, but just like if I don't feel comfortable, maybe they didn't add enough blush or something. So I always like to have my makeup bag with me. Uh, and then I bring a bunch of bras because I don't know what top they're gonna put me in. So I always wanna be prepared. I've got a strapless, I've got a crisscross, I've got a regular bra. Um, and then I bring some bike shorts to go underneath. I don't think that I'm wearing a dress, so I probably won't need those, but in the event that I do, um, and then I bring a, um, a nude undies and then I actually packed a couple extra socks in the event that they, I mean, they have everything, right? They have my socks and stuff, but in the event that, I don't know, I don't know why I wanna bring them. I just wanna make sure that I'm covered on all bases. And then I bring the good stuff. So of course I've got my phone charger and my um, portable charger. I always bring a book. Sometimes I actually bring my laptop too. I'm not gonna bring my laptop today because I've got a lot of work to do on my phone, but Oftentimes on set, there's lots of downtime. Um, so whether I'm in the makeup chair or once I've gone through hair and makeup, um, sometimes I have to wait to go to set or sometimes I go to set and then I have to come back to holding. Um, I'm assuming that we're gonna be in trailers today, but I'm not really sure. So I always wanna be prepared with something to do. I always have work to do. So <laughs> um, there's that. I'm gonna bring some wipes just in the event that like I need a I don't know, wash my hands or something or want to freshen up because I'm going to be actually playing basketball. So um, I just want to be prepared and I want to be clean the whole time. The styling team asked me to bring my jewelry back. So I have a couple extra things that I'm going to bring to sit with me today. I've got my deodorant. Again, I'm going to be playing basketball. I want to be fresh. I've got my hand sanitizer. I've got my mask with me. I've got some hand lotion that I can use, you know, for my legs or whatever. I've got my breath mints. Oh, that reminds me, I'm actually gonna go get my toothbrush and my toothpaste because usually we'll break for lunch. And then obviously after we eat lunch, I'm gonna wanna brush my teeth before I get back on in front of the camera. Um, then I always bring a black pen because there's lots of paperwork to always fill out. And then I just have a couple other pens and then I've got my headphones. And then I've got my chapstick. So I think I'm good. I'm gonna go grab my toothbrush and my toothpaste. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I'm gonna bring. I'm shooting again Wednesday and Thursday. May end up bringing my laptop. I do have lots of editing to do. So, um, but I think for today, I'm gonna just get the work done on my phone because I have some, some work to get done there. Oh, and there's one last thing that I'm gonna add to my bag. It's a sweatshirt. I'm always cold. I always wanna be prepared. If we are in a trailer today, I'm assuming that the AC is gonna be on blast. So I just wanna make sure that I'm comfortable all day. Okay, have you guys ever in your life came to a moment in time where you're like, why did I not do that sooner? Well, that's exactly how I feel about having an air purifier in my home. With all of the Canadian wildfires happening and the smoke coming down into the New York City area, 
the air quality around here is not great. It's actually terrible. And that means that whatever air is outside is coming into my house, which means I'm breathing bad air. I could not be more thrilled that Liffy Bide and I are teaming up and they sent me this air purifier for my home, which is about a thousand square feet or so. We are in my living room. I have it in the middle of my apartment. My kitchen is on the left. My office and my bedroom are to the right. My bathroom is behind you guys along with the second bedroom. It's the perfect place and position in my home for the air purifier. So when I first turned it on, the number on the side here, right here was at like 9.99 because I had just turned it on. Within the last 24 hours, it has worked its magic and is now down to six. And the green means that the air quality is great. The lower the number, the better the quality. And let's take a listen. This is currently on. It is the quietest air purifier. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the speed up and tell you how loud this gets. This is the loudest it will get. I've kept mine on speed one or two in the last 24 hours and you can barely hear it. Okay, now let's get into the technical stuff. This is 18 by 18 by 35 inches high and it can purify up to 4,555 square feet. This is sold for $699 and it has a five year manufacturer's warranty. I also know that there is a $150 coupon right now on Amazon. I'll be sure to link everything below. All right, let's take you for a spin. There is a touch panel with button functions on the top of the machine. There is a true HEPA H13 filter. As a reminder, when you do receive your machine, please remember to remove the plastic wrap from the filters. These HEPA filters remove and capture 99.99% of all airborne particles down to the 0.1 microns preventing pollen, dust, pet, skin chips, wildfire smoke, and odors. In these filters, there are three layers of filtering and all you need to do is replace the filters one time a year. You can control this entire air purifier with the app control, and with the app control, you can schedule the air purifier to turn on, turn off, sleep, etc. I am absolutely thrilled to have an air purifier in my home. I cannot believe that we don't think about clean air as much as we do. Really excited. Thank you so much, Liffy Bide, for sending this my way. Today is the day. I'm off to shoot day one of three. Gotta love when set is 14 minutes away. I just, I just cannot get over this, you guys. I'm like, is this my real life? Yes, it is. Um, I'm immensely grateful for the opportunity and um, can't tell you guys how many times I questioned myself, thought I was too old, thought I was too big, not small enough. I thought I wasn't tall enough and I always did that when I, you know, filmed my auditions. I was like, nope, they're not gonna book me. And um, even though I was questioning my ability and my body and myself, I still went through with filming my auditions. And sure enough, I got booked for one. One thing about me, you guys, is that I don't ever get nervous in front of a camera. And that's how you know I love not only do I love what I do, obviously, but like, you know that's like where I'm meant to be. I think if I was a nervous person and I felt uncomfortable in front of a camera, like I would be a ball of jitters right now, but I am like so looking forward to this day and um, can't wait. I'd be talking to you in real life. I was doing right. I was good, right? I was good. Try not to laugh. She's doing my makeup. You know who? Yes. Where? I played at UMass Dartmouth. It's a small division, three small. Well, Dartmouth's a good. You What? You see? UMass Dartmouth, not UMass. UMass. Oh, but you know, okay. Yeah. You know, you know. Yeah.
Don't break your ankles. Come through. Come through. Come through. Everybody's got the lemon, the lemon, the lemon pepper stuff. The lemon pepper stuff. No, it's it's gonna yeah, yeah. Because I think it's like doing this. So you prefer the other one? Do it. Well, these are more comfortable than that. But just like, oh, but if we do this, yeah, we find yeah. Yeah, yeah, here's the meat. Oh, you bring that, you, you blow the spot up. Yeah, they're going to make a uh, public announcement. Yeah. Let me get your picture. Oh, There's a lot going on in this. So I'm home. I just showered and washed off all my makeup and I got booked for an extra day tomorrow. So I have to be back at 6 a.m. It's just about 10 p.m. I'm already exhausted. That means I have to get up at 5 a.m. to leave here by 5.15, 5.30 to get to set on time. Today was an awesome first day. I'm really excited to be booked for an additional fourth day tomorrow, which is crazy. So I'll work today, tomorrow, and then Wednesday, Thursday. I played in a two-piece suit today. I played basketball in a two-piece suit. It was crazy. It was hot, it was uncomfortable. Felt like I couldn't move, but it was such a fun day. I got to meet some really cool basketball players and other actors and um, the production team and hair and makeup team. Awesome, 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 awesome day. I'm gonna hit the sack. I'm so exhausted. <laughs> I have to be up super early tomorrow, um, but uh, day two tomorrow, so stay tuned. Hi guys, you probably can't see me very well, but it is 4.45 in the morning and I'm on my way to set for day two. Hi guys, it is, I think 5.45 and I'm walking into set. Yeah. Hi guys, it is day two of shooting. I just got touched up in the makeup chair. It is, what time is it? 6.45? 6.45, we got here at 6 a.m. We're about to go shoot the last shot. <laughs> Y'all, it is just about nine PM on day two. I just worked, <laughs> let me see. A 14 hour day, which is insane. Woo! Hi, I'm exhausted. I'm about to go shower, wash this makeup off my face, get ready for bed. And then I don't go back until Wednesday. So I have Monday and Tuesday off from the commercial. I've got some content to shoot here, and then I'll be back on set with them Wednesday and Thursday. Really excited to go back. Today was an awesome day. Ah, oh, I'm just so grateful. So anyways, I hope you guys are doing good and um, I'll check back in with you on day three on Wednesday. Good morning guys, it is five o'clock in the morning. I am getting ready to head downstairs to grab my Uber. Taking a car this morning to set because our call time is at 6 a.m. <sighs> I'm exhausted, but I'm so excited for the day. Let's go. Yeah. Hi guys! 
it is 8 15 on Wednesday evening and I just got back from work we had another I think today was 13 and a half hours uh got there at 6 a.m and got released at 7 30 p.m took the train home uh because it was two dollars and 75 cents instead of a 55 dollar uber um but i did take an uber this morning because it was so early that i don't really like taking the train at really odd hours i would have had to leave my house at 5 a.m so another great day Giannis and joel and b was uh on set today with us which was awesome met a whole bunch of new uh people today playing basketball with and the highlight of the day was me hitting a game winning shot it was awesome <laughs> Um, it was really, 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 really cool. Tomorrow is my fourth and final day, and I found out that I'm going to be a body double tomorrow for, um, an old woman. <laughs> so I guess they have hired a women's basketball team, or like a couple of them, uh, to come be on the commercial. I'm going to be dressed like her, and I'm gonna have to wear a wig, which is gonna be really exciting. So tomorrow should be a funny, funny day. Uh... But I mean, gosh, I just, you know, I keep saying how grateful I am for the opportunity because it's like, man, it's just awesome. Um, so anyways, I am gonna go shower, wash my face and uh, get into bed. And I don't have to be to set until, my call time's not until 10 a.m. So I'll be able to get some extra sleep this evening, which will be really exciting for me because it's been a lot of early mornings and a lot of long days. And I haven't been able to shoot much uh, on set because it's a closed set. Um, so we can't take any video of anything or photos of anything. They're really strict. I'll try to take some more video tomorrow, but I can't promise anything. And uh, yeah, anyways, I will check in with you guys tomorrow. took the train this morning because I'm two stops from being to set. I live so close to where set is. It's about 12 to 15 minutes in the car. So I'm walking in the West Village and I just absolutely love the West Village for so many reasons. It's super quaint. It's very neighborhoody. It's pretty quiet. And I wanted to show you guys my favorite little street. Here we are. So cute. Isn't it just the best? I wanted to do a quick outfit check before I get to set. So I am in my onesie from uh, Amazon. I've got my New Balances on with high socks and I've got my sweatshirt on from Zara and my H&M bag. Thank you. Ice cream. Marge, what do you need? <laughs> <laughs> My hearing aid is a joke. <laughs> 
I'm so excited. I just got wrapped my fourth day of the commercial and uh, can't wait to show you guys the final final product. It's gonna be it's gonna be really great. Hey Google, call Candace. Where are you at? I'm out of town. Any chance you can come through? Already on the way. We got next. This is Taylor Ropes reporting live. What started off as a neighborhood pickup game has reached epic levels. This could be the best pickup game of all time. Let's go! 